Hey, what's up everybody? Lola here, Inside Source for All Things Rocket League. Gonna be talking about something a little bit different today, as you guys can tell, still in Ukraine. Uh, it is, I think it's like 3.30 a.m., something like that, my time. Uh, we just finished a 12-hour, 13-hour broadcast day. We are into the last day tomorrow, which means that we are going to be going into the Losers Finals and then the Best of Set Grand Finals. Uh, the teams that are remaining, Shopify Rebellion in the Grand Finals, which is crazy. And then we've got Energy versus Envy in the lowers for NA. And then for EMEA region, uh, BDS, Carving Corp, and I don't remember. I'm, t I'm tired. Either way, it's not important. Uh, today's video is to provide a little bit of insight about what I'm doing, what I'm going through, the things that I am currently uh, seeing every day. I know a lot of people love seeing behind the scenes stuff, and I'm going to try to provide some videos I've taken, some images and stuff like that. And Wojtek, again, thank you for all the help. I'm sure he'll splice some of this stuff together for y'all. Um, a little bit of everything. Uh, I'll do a full recap on this if you guys want me, to, uh, want me to from start to finish in the comments down below. I'll probably, when I return home on stream, I'll do stuff and then uh, splice it down for y'all. But if you guys want a like start to finish recap of like what I went through uh, while coming out here, I can do that. The travel experience, all that kind of stuff, let me know. Um, but this video in particular is going to be about behind the scenes footage and some of the stuff you can kind of expect uh, if you ever do esports commentary in a different country, internationally, stuff like that. So first things first, obviously I am traveling during the middle of the pandemic with COVID and all that kind of stuff. So there's a couple things you need Obviously your passport, you need a CPR test, which is a certain type of test that tests for COVID. Uh, as compared to like a rapid test, it's a little bit more uh, strict and has to go to a lab and, and they have to figure all that stuff out. You also need a lot of documents in order to get into the country and that varies from country to country, who you're traveling with, all that kind of stuff. Uh, it's, it's quite a process. So you do that, wear a mask the whole time, then you're able to travel. I left my town on Monday at 10 or 11 a.m., like 11 a.m., and I landed in Ukraine at 1.15 p.m. on Tuesday. So it's a really long travel time uh, because we also go ahead eight to nine hours. I think it's eight hours from where I'm at. After arriving and stuff, you kind of just settle in and get ready for the day. The following day on Wednesday was media day, and if you guys have seen any of it, and if you haven't, here's some of the footage of it, of the the talent intros where we're doing like the really cringy poses and stuff with the like taglines or anytime we do like the foosball content if you guys haven't seen that i hit a nasty cooks or pinch um if you didn't know all that stuff is usually like pre-recorded or done through like a media day where you spend a lot of time with like a producer and a director and you're going uh and getting through it basically as fast as you can that was a 13 hour day and we did that on wednesday uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday are all show dates. We get there at about uh, four in the afternoon. So I'm reversing my schedule. I sleep because like I said, it's now 3.37 a.m. I will sleep around like five or six, wake up around like two or three, go to the studio for four, and then I work until three or four in the morning. It's a little bit different there, but we're in the studio for about 12 hours because F Dot, myself and Supersonic are on the desk. We're doing stuff. Uh, from the start to the end. There is no break. Uh, when we get there, we kind of set our stuff up in our talent green room, which there should be footage of me walking through the entire venue. I don't know where I start in that video. I think I start on the stage. Uh, so you start at the stage. It's a front and a back. That entire stage is on a rotating platform. Like it physically does move all the way around. Um, and from there, you then go upstairs on the right hand side, there's like a guy with like the best button job ever where he just clicks the button and that's what forces the stage to rotate whatever direction he chooses. And if you go up through there, there's another monitor back there just in case we are in between and have to like see matches before we go on desk. Then you go down those stairs to the right, there's like a punching bag and behind that is like a bathroom. To the right, it brings you down another hallway and then you go left after that and there's a bunch of green rooms. Uh, for talent, for different teams, because they're doing the CSGO Academy team stuff right now. Um, that's where all the, like the practice and scrim rooms are, and they eventually get into our talent room, which you should see at some point, uh, Dot and a couple of the guys waving and saying hi while I'm in there. So that's pretty much it. There's also a front office with like a shop and stuff, and then it brings you out into like this courtyard, which is pretty crazy. So a lot of really cool stuff there. 
Um, I'm basically just dumping a bunch of photos and videos for Voitech and uh, he'll do what he can. Uh, the other cool thing is at the beginning of every show, uh, as of Thursday, Friday, uh, or as of Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, there is also a live DJ. Um, we had Pro Bass, and I think we had DJ to Candy, I think. I don't know who the one is for tomorrow um, or today when this video comes out, so I have no idea on that, but we'll have another DJ in the morning. We've also got some newer content that you guys haven't seen yet that I don't want to spoil. Um, but yeah, a lot of cool stuff that's going on behind the scenes. As for the actual show, uh, we start, like I said, uh, pre-show starts at 5 if there's a DJ, and that goes till about 5.30. At 5.30, 5.35, then we go down after the DJ leaves. They remove the entire DJ, like, set, and then put the chairs, in, which are, like, screwed into the floor and all that kind of stuff. And then after they do all that, we then go on desk... Show starts, they do the intro, we do the show, etc. After we do our desk segment, we then go to the green room, casters swing around, they do their thing, and then we alternate that and do four matches or tomorrow, which will be two matches, but the second match will be a best of set, so it could be up to four matches total again. I gotta pack my stuff before I fly out tomorrow, otherwise I may not make it to the airport on time, I'll just tell you guys about it in a sec. But, uh... Yeah, so we do our four matches, and then we get a little bit of downtime, and then it resets for the North American region, and then we do all that again. So it's a really, really busy day. Uh, the worst part is tomorrow, or today, Sunday, I am waking up, getting another COVID test, a CPR test, or PCR test, just to make sure I don't have COVID. And you have to do it within a certain amount of days of flying to make sure that you're not contagious, and that you're like clear for flying, and then you have to fill out a bunch of other documents and stuff too, and your passport and whatnot. So we do that tomorrow at 2 a.m. And then we'll be going from there to the studio at 3.30 on a shuttle. We then do our our studio show, which will go probably till like one, two, or three, depending on how that goes. I then have to leave immediately from the studio, go to the airport, and then fly from Ukraine to Amsterdam to Minneapolis, Minnesota to Green Bay. Immediately after a 12 hour show, I then am flying another 20 some hours on no sleep. So tomorrow's gonna suck, but we do it for esports and we do it for the ability to go and cast in the studio with people we love. So uh, although it may seem glamorous and it may seem like a good time all the time, there's a lot of stuff behind the scenes that kind of sucks. Uh, there's a lot of things that are very very toll like they take a toll on you they they really break it down but um i wouldn't change it I, I love what i do and i'm lucky to do what i do i've also seen all of your guys's comments all the feedback and all the stuff that you guys have given um but a lot of you are overwhelmingly positive which means a lot so i do greatly appreciate the love and support you guys have been absolutely fantastic but uh yeah it's a little bit of insight behind the scenes hopefully you guys enjoy the footage and the shots and all that kind of stuff and some of the stuff that you guys normally don't get to see uh, which has kind of spiced up this video a little bit more than just me sitting and talking to my phone. But uh, that is going to do it for this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, as always, I'll do probably like a full recap of this when I get home uh, on Twitch and then we'll actually give details. But uh, if you guys want additional content or anything in this regard, let me know in the comments down below. And any other questions, comments, concerns, you know what to do. And while you're down there, if you enjoy the content, thumbs up, subscribe, turn on notifications, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.